day yesterday and uh, another one good, good today as well and uh, still of course a lot of interest in our tasty leaf tomatoes and I assume that just continues to grow oh yeah we uh, we are now uh, you know we're still the uh, last year for the second year in a row number one field branded grown tomato in the United States and even though we're only 26% ACV but it's still you know Number one. Nice to uh, to meet the people and to see who's, who's buying our oranges. Obviously, the supermarkets is uh, it's always overwhelming for us to see the bigger uh, shops that, that we have it here. So it's very nice to visit. Yes. What do you put together here? I'm um, just making a little bit of pasta. I got some garlic and uh, oil sauce here, and then uh, our manzano tomatoes. Yeah, I would think this has been a popular stop here at United Press. It has been, yes. We've been pretty busy. A little slow today, but for the rest of the show, it's been hot. They've been flying off the plate there. So we have mimosas, so we're doing champagne and orange juice. It's pretty simple. It is, but it seems to be a crowd pleaser, so... You guys getting good traffic at the show? Or? We are. The show's actually been awesome. We're really excited about all the new contacts we've got. Have you stayed busy here at United Press? It's been pretty busy, I have to say. Yesterday there was a line like crazy, non-stop. Today is maybe a little bit more quiet, but I think lunch is coming up, so that's going to change in about maybe half hour, right? Well, there's some really <laughs> good smells coming out of here. What are you doing today? Today I am making a Sunkist grapefruit avocado. I have this grapefruit avocado mix, bacon, shrimp, little gem lettuce wrap. Aaron, what in the world is this? This is actually a jackfruit. It's one, got to be the biggest fruit in the world. It is one of the larger ones, yes. So, and and we're seeing uh, is is this something that's that's starting to come into the United States it's market? Cer it certainly is, and, and demand is growing because people value that's really sweet, delectable flavors. So it's a, a lettuce that's. Uh the whole point of this product is that it's going to be fresh from the first day to the last day, no matter when you're going to eat it. Uh, when, you you, when you get it uh, purchased from the store, bring it home, all you have to do is peel the wrap, get a plate, water it once every five days, uh, and then just peel as you need. So no more throwing away leftover lettuce? No more waste, no more food waste. I was um, fortunate enough to have my wife and uh, Simone and one of my sons, my youngest son Dominic here with me um, for the event. My, uh, our eldest son Xavier is at a sleepaway camp racing around a lake in North Georgia so he was uh, happy not to be here but it's really it's been an unexpected delight I mean we had to um, fight Dominic off from the salami tray last night I think he ate his body weight in that but he, he's delighted to be here and part of the produce um, part of the produce community.